Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot card. These are your Daily Tarot cards for Tuesday, February 15th, 2022. Today we're pulling from the Wild Unknown Tarot cards. We're starting off with the Hierophant and I feel like they're bringing the light to the situation, but I feel like with this, because it's five is all about change and transformation. So I feel like even though you may be going through a sort of a, a storm here, I feel like the lightning is the, the, the light in the situation. Our two finishing cards is unconditional love that we get with the Ten of Pentacles. This is always like, you know, you're and your partner in a great place, your children, the two dogs, multiple generation family. But this is all talking about what it's an absolute yes card. This is a very positive card. I'm, I'm looking at the what they're showing me is the um, Ten of Pentacles and Astrology Answers. We have the Six of Wands here. So definitely we have this portal open from February 2nd to February 22nd. And we definitely have this triangle. They were pointing out this A here. So I'm not sure if that means anything to anyone. But I feel like with the triangle, they talk about, you know, um, making us whole again. I feel like, you know, this has been coming up since like... Um, um, this is us when Toby articulated, you know, everybody's tr chasing off a square, but the square collapses so easily, but a triangle is one of the strongest geometrical shapes. And, you know, we always talk about the Holy Trinity, father, son, Holy spirit. So maybe this is you going deeper into faith and, you know, the cards definitely do talk about that, you know, um, also talking mind, body, soul. So when we highlight our young lamb here, you know, and I'm not trying to be biblical here, but it's just these are the things that have been coming to my mind. And it's like Jesus says, don't block my lambs for me, you know, where he's like, let the lambs come to me. This is our children. So highlighting the crown chakra or third eye, you know, here it's, you know, supposed to be rest and rejuvenation. They do talk about that, but they're saying before the swords hit. So I feel like this is Archangel Metatron, our being in alignment. So again, at three with the, the mind with the soul and our gut intuition. So they're talking mind, body, soul. And they're saying with this definition before the swords hit. And, uh, you know, if this is a mental health issue, what they've been talking about when they were saying, you know, seek that medical, um, you know, um, advice, you know, seek, um, a therapist. They've been highlighting since, uh, January 27th, you know, with brand of the page of cups about a youth. And I feel like this is a child going through awakening. I feel like this is a child going through, and I'm not saying ignore this. Please don't take me saying like this is an indigo child. That's a, a word or a crystal child, a child that has psychic abilities. Don't take it as like, oh, ignore it because they're, no. If they're, you know, you notice the change and they have articulated that to you, you react. They, they even say it online. Do not sit there. Even the doctors say the same thing. Don't sit there and wait them to grow out of it react. You know what I mean? They're asking you for help. Get them that help. You know what I mean? I definitely feel like they will flourish. With the daughter of um, wands, I feel like this doesn't necessarily mean daughter. I feel like feminine energy. We all have masculine and feminine energy. I'm more masculine than feminine. No shock there. Um, but because uh, I'm an independent driven person. You know what I mean? If I don't ask people to do things. I know if I ask a certain person, you know, to do something, it's like, I'm, I'm looking for a fight or they won't do it. So it's like, you know what, instead of fighting, teach me how to do it. And I will do it myself. You know what I mean? I don't want to fight. I'd rather sit there, get it done. It's over with. And I don't have to think twice about it. You know what I mean? But I feel like in this case, they're saying the child will be more career driven. And you know what the funny thing is when I was reading this for IG, they were showing Tyler Henry and he always talks about how at the age of 17, he had unfortunately went through a passing of his grandmother. And from that age, he was able to sit there and, you know, do readings for his mother, for the family, for her friends. And he became huge. And he's like, at 17, we couldn't tell people that that's who I was because they would have locked him up. And I'm like, I totally agree with you. You know what I mean? Like you got to protect your child. If they're drawn to the healing arts, embrace it. Let them, you know, discover what it is. You know what I mean? The more they put into it, the more better they will be off. If, you know, you're a lot freer when you stop, you know, kind of like where they're dragging the feet, where they were showing for a couple of weeks now, someone digging their heels into the ground and dragging their feet and just, and it's like, just allow the wheel to turn. And they were showing a wagon wheel. The wagon wheel is very reminiscent of Game of Thrones tarot deck, the wheel of fortune. So it's like, just let the wheel turn. But I definitely feel like it's being an ally to this child. It's also saying that a mentor may appear, you know what I mean? If we don't fight this, there is a decision coming here. I don't know 
if this is like forcing your hand. I just feel like we don't have all the information and it's just like making the best decision. I feel like this could be the new moon because the darkening of um, the sun darkening out, uh, you know, this uh, circle. So I feel like it's new moon energy. So I feel like there may be something coming um, with this new moon that it's like we don't know everything to the situation, but we're making the best, best decision possible. I don't feel like uh, um, your hand is being forced. It's just, you know. I feel like, you know, with them talking about education, it, you know, talking about going to Dr. Google, doing your research, educating yourself at a higher level, you know, more of an understanding. That's all we can do as parents. Cause when it comes to this kind of stuff, it's just like, unless you're a professional and I feel like even when you're a professional, it's like, you only know so much, you know what I mean? So it's just like be having that great communication, that great correspondence where it's just like, we could sit there and, you know, be allies and surround this child, whatever they're going through this youth whoever this is, you know, they do talk about daughter. So it could be your daughter, but it's just like surround this child. And, you know, so the 10 of pentacles and the six of wands happens, you know, we don't want our children to feel like they can't come to us. You know, I love the fact that of the yellow hue, you know, our yellow is usually our intuition, but I feel, I love the yellowing of the card here. And especially around the six of wands, I feel like it's just let it be patient and just see what happens in the future baby steps don't force anything don't try to rush through this some things take time and it's like you will be grateful that you will let it you know let your children bloom the way that they're supposed to let them heal the way that they're supposed to we can't rush this just let them go at a pace that they're comfortable with so we're going to start off with the Harrowfin. mentor seeking knowledge it is in simplest form the hero friend represents a mentor or a teacher. This card signifies a uh, hunger for knowledge, whether it is in the practical or the spiritual realm. You have come as far as you can on your own. Now it's the time to deepen your practices. Don't hesitate. Join a class. Go to a workshop. Don't be afraid of new experiences. A new ceremony or ritual may prove to be both comforting and rewarding. Open your heart and you, and your teacher will soon appear. So definitely going to, and I'm very grateful. Like I honestly thought like TikTok was, you know, young people's app. And I'm like, I have no business being on there. Like, you know, I'm a mom. Like that's like for my children, not for me. And I was like, you know, they're too young for that. Um, you know, but I feel like it's like a great tool to be creative, especially if um, your children are creative or yourself is creative. Like for my, you know, my niece was actually the one that told me like, no, you should go on it. Um, but I feel like it's connected me with so many people and it's like everybody's on there. Any of you that have followed me for a while know that at one point in time I did, you know, read the Quran. Um, and they have this beautiful, um, I, I don't know how they would articulate that, um, what they're doing. Um, with me, it's like, we call it like the Yishma, like most powerful prayer, but they were, you know, they have one for evil eye that I play, especially what's going on right now. Um, and then they have this beautiful one. He was like, you know, say this after, or say this after, but right before you do your prayer. So, um, there is a significant prayer that we do every single night. That is the most powerful prayer, you know? And it, that he was saying, say this before that. And I was just like, okay, you know, but I just, I, I get a lot of comfort from it. You know what I mean? And I love the fact that the way that they do their prayers is very reminiscent of the Hebrew faith of, you know, we do Shalalah before we go to sleep. There's a couple other, another one we do. And then we do the most powerful prayer of the night. And, uh, it's just like, I feel like that's what they're saying, especially right now. And I feel like if you're going through, you know, where there's something going on, you know, it feels, may feel like a storm. Like it feels heavy, but not totally heavy. Like, you know, like you're not anxious. Like, I feel like you may feel a little anxiousness because the full moon is all about like, you know, our center, you know what I mean? With dealing with our heart, heartbeat, blood pressure, all that. So you may feel a little anxiousness right now. And I feel like that could be the full moon. You know what I mean? But I feel like they're saying find comfort where you need it. You know what I mean? You never know where your teacher is going to come from and don't dismiss someone of their age. You never know where you're going to get support from. So the four swords, stillness, mental power. And this is why I feel when they're talking about this, like, you know, going through something emotionally, it's like being an ally. Though threatening swords loom above, the lamb sits in stillness without fear. The four of swords says it's 
time to look inward and find the mental power to cope with the pressures. It's important to rest, seek meditation, or find literature that focus on uh, ways to quiet the mind. Take this time to recuperate and move in, inward before those swords strike. And I feel like it's taking action. You know what I mean? That's the most powerful thing I can take from there is taking action. You know, Lisa Rana said it the best. When her daughter was going through some issues there and when she was off to college and she's like, you don't mess around when it comes. She used another word, but she's, you know what I mean? Like Lisa's straight to the point. She's like, you don't mess around when it comes to your kids, you know? And I could not, you know, agree with her more. It's just like, you got to react. You got to act. You cannot wait. You cannot sit there and mess around with this kind of thing. So I feel like, you know, especially when it's like teaching our children, you know, and I've done my best to sit there and articulate this to the boys. Like, you know, when those thoughts come in or people say things, I tell them, like, sometimes I watch the news and it's a lot. You know what I mean? Like, you know, there's so many deaths, these many people that have the cough, cough, you know, X, Y, and Z. And it's just like, oh, you know, the possibility of another war starting. It's just like, mm, okay, what's the weather? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not that I don't care. I, I always educate myself with world issues and everything, every walk of form, whatever is happening. So like, you know, like I'm well-rounded, but at the same time, it's just like, sometimes it's a lot. You know what I mean? When you have a lot going on in your life and then to watch, it's just like, you know what I mean? And it's like teaching your children, like you don't have to watch all that. If you just want to watch the other, yeah, I watch the weather and I watch my weather app, but it's like our local news is more detailed about areas and how much snow, when it's going to hit. How long it's going to last. You know what I mean? So sometimes you do have to, but it's just like, just, I tell them fast forward through it. You know what I mean? There's no problem with watching the news, but it's just like, it's just like beating a dead horse. It's like beating us over the head with a freaking uh, police uh, flashlight right now. You know, those big, you know, long flashlights. It's like you're getting beat over the head with that is what they're actually showing. So daughter of wands, visionary, passionate. The daughter of wands is a free spirit, a truly visionary, visionary cr creature. She usually waits until to set, uh, waits till later to settle down to, or start a family as she's busy with her career. She can be stubborn and much stronger than she looks. As with the, the Wands family, the daughter makes a dangerous enemy. The card can also represent a woman going through a transformation or a spiritual breakthrough. So I feel like because it's a youth energy, you know, I understand that like, we all want to put labels, you know, masculine, feminine, boy, girl, whatever. I feel like this is just a youth around you going through this, you know, and I definitely feel like, you know, the cards are going back and forth with that knocking. So we have the two of swords. You know what they were just saying? Combative. You know how like the good side's trying to fight the bad side? Like the light's trying to fight the dark, you know, as we usually say. So, you know what I mean? It's like trying to combat the, let the light, uh, let the light, let the light come through in this dark, you know, in the new moon. You know what I mean? So it's like, it could be that they were saying like a combat and I'm hearing like swords kind of, oh, what's that called? Not archery. Oh, it was something I wanted to do too. I can't remember what it's called. It's just so graceful where they're wearing, you know, the completely white suits. And then they got like that, the, the mask is completely black on the head, the headgear. And so you don't get, poke each other in the eye. Oh, I can't think of what it's called. Dang it. I used to, oh, I love that. But uh, block vision, stalemate. See, block vision. You know what I mean? So there's something there that's not working right. Not even like working right. I hate those kind of labels, but I feel like it's just something like, you know what I mean? It's just sometimes we, we go through traumas and, and are just a lot of things. It's like one thing after the other. It's hard to see the light. You know what I mean? I feel like that's why they're saying working on those things, how to shut those negative voices down. The two swords depicts two opposing forces that have reached a stalemate. You cannot pro proceed progress forward with either a relationship or a life decision. There's an answer that's being blocked, maybe by choice. Many times the card will indicate you do not you do not wish to face the truth. The light will reveal. So talking, there were definitely what I heard was criticism. So. I don't know if this is going to be criticism of ourselves or criticism of our child or, you know, where, where's this criticism coming from? Criticism from spirit, criticism from this mentor. I don't, I'm not sure, but, um, 
I feel like criticism could be also um, um, malicious. I feel like they're just, you know, basically trying to dump their trash on you. You know, this is what I would do. It's like, did I ask you? You know what I mean? So it's just like sometimes people will give unsolicited advice, but instead of giving advice, they're just like barking at you and like kind of pointing at the finger like what you should do. So Ten of Pentacles, fulfillment and abundance. And this is why I'm saying that this this child going through this change and transformation with the Hierophant, I feel like the light of the storm is that, you know, it will be okay, you know? And it definitely with them saying, you know, with Dr. Google saying, don't wait for them to grow out of this, R react. You know, Lisa Renna has been something that's been really strong and resonant. It's like, don't mess around. You know, this is where I talk about with, um, when I do pe readings for people, it's like, it's what they said, the lyrics of the song, they're trying to tell you something. You know, they, this may be someone in your life that sounds like this or looks like this or same job. It's like, you know, what I've experienced is what they're trying to relay through me to you. So 10 of Pentacles, fulfillment, abundance. The Ten of Pentacles signifies material and spiritual abundance in nearly every area of your life. The number 10 usually indicates completion. And in this case, the journey was well worth it. So the journey is well worth it. Whatever is happening here, Daughter of Wands and the Four of Swords, it's well worth it. Especially talking, and I feel like that is the light of the situation. I feel like that's what they're trying to point out here. This is the key. This is the answer. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's why it's a minor message that this will be just fine. You know what I mean? I feel like you, maybe you feel criticized. Maybe this is like whoever the medical professional is. The number 10 usually indicates completion in this, in this case, the journey was well worth it. So be generous and not only with your money, but also with your wisdom, provide guidance to those who struggle. You will be rewarded tenfold. You know, that's how we spread wisdom. That's how we become wiser. It's just the wisdom that we learned, we're taught, we regurgitate it to someone else, and so on and so forth. They pay it forward. So we're ending on the Six of Wands. Victory, success, rising above. From the dark, the tangled branches emerge. Emerges a butterfly. New life takes flight. If you're not re revealing, re reveling in the joy of success already, you will soon. The Six of Wands is a card of victory, of rising up against the odds. The obstacles have been resilient. Re re yep, re resilient. But not. But now is not the time to look back upon them. The more pressing question is, where will you go with this new set of wings? <coughs> Relentless, excuse me, was the word. But I just feel like, you know, all we can do is keep moving forward. You know what I mean? Like, we can't go in the back and change the past. Like, we can reflect. And that's definitely what the full moon is about. To so the new moon is reflecting on that cycle of the moon is how far we've come. All the positive things we have to be grateful for. Yes, that is something definitely resonates. But it's like if we go further back, it's like not trying to sit there and live in that because that moment is is over. We'll never live, relive that moment again. That's why they always tell us to live each moment to the fullest because we'll never relive that moment again. So instead of concentrating on, oh, this is coming up, it's stre no, let's not stress about that. Let's live in the moment, relish in the moment and, and live for all the beauty and light that's there. And if it's not there, let's find ways to bring it back in. What can we cut out of our life? Very the devil card. What can we cut out that no longer serves us so we can keep moving forward? So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Tuesday, February 15th, 2022. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.